φίλε και φίλοι, καλησπέρα. Απόψε θα παρακολουθήσετε ένα δύοωρο ζωντανό πρόγραμμα α, που θα έλεγα το προσφέρει με την καλή καρδιά που έχει ο Παναγιώτης Λάτος σε όλους τους Έλληνες ομογενείς, ο οποίος Παναγιώτης α, είχε μία περιπέτεια υγείας, α, την παραμονή της πρωτοχρονιάς, δηλαδή έφυγε ο παλιός χρόνος το 2009, αφήνοντας ένα τραύμα τόσο σωματικό σου και ψυχικό στον Παναγιώτη Λάτο. Απόψε ε, έφερε εδώ μαζί του, κατόπιν δική μου παρακλήσεως, το γιατρό που τον χειρούργησε στον καρκίνο του προστάτη. Το περασμένο Σάββατο, στην εκπομπή που παρουσιάζω κάθε εβδομάδα, ε, θα είδατε ε, μία συμπαρουσίαση που κάναμε και το θέμα της βραδιάς, εκτός από το ψυχαγωγικό μέρος της εκπομπής, το θέμα της βραδιάς ήταν ο καρκίνος του προστάτη. Μας αναφέρθηκε και μας αφηγήθηκε το τι βίωσε ο ίδιος πώς του παρουσιάστηκε ο καρκίνος στον προστάτη και πώς τον πολέμησε. Ο Παναγιώτης είναι από εκείνα τα παιδιά που ζήσαν, μεγάλωσαν, ναι μεν με όλες τις ανέσεις που προσφέρει αυτή η χώρα που λέγεται Αμερική, αλλά είναι αυτό χώπεδο, γιος ταξιτζή. Λοιπόν, έχει μάθει στους αγώνες της ζωής, μαζί με τον αδερφό του τον Ανδρέα, ξεκίνησαν να δικηγορούν εδώ και 17 χρόνια, και κατάφεραν να πετύχουν επαγγελματικά και να είναι το παράδειγμα για πολλά μικρά παιδιά που τώρα αρχίζουν να προσανατολίζονται τι τομέα θα ακολουθήσουν στη ζωή τους. <coughs> Πάρα πολλοί πισηρικάδες που έχω συναντήσει μου λένε θα γίνω ο δικηγόρος σαν το λάτο. Λάτο, λάτο. Λοιπόν, α, κατόπιν της μεγάλης επιτυχίας που είχε η εκπομπή του περασμένου Σαββάτου, γιατί πήραμε Πάρα πολλά τηλεφωνήματα, όχι μόνο εμείς εδώ στα γραφεία του σταθμού, αλλά και ο Παναγιώτης ο Λάτος, όπως θα σας πει σε λίγο, στα γραφεία τα δικηγορικά. Λοιπόν, σκεφτήκαμε να έχουμε εδώ τον γιατρό που τον χειρούργησε, τον κύριο ε, David Σαμάντι, ο οποίος είναι Ιρανός στην καταγωγή και χειρουργεί εδώ στο νοσοκομείο Mount Sinai και να μας πει διάφορες εμπειρίες, διότι είναι ειδικό για τον καρκίνο του προστάτη. Α, θα έλεγα ότι ε, είναι καλό κάθε τόσο και λιγάκι ορισμένους σπεσιαλίστες γιατρούς α, σε αρρώστιες που αν τις προλάβουμε είναι συνάχη. Αν δεν τις προλάβουμε τότε είναι πραγματικά καρκίνος. Λοιπόν, να δίνουμε από τώρα πληροφορίε γιατί το να προβλέπεις κάτι η προληπτική θεραπεία είναι η καλύτερη θεραπεία. Λοιπόν, απόψε ε, φιλοξενώ τον Παναγιώτη το Λάτο και τον ε, καλεσμένο μας, τον γιατρό, τον κύριο Ντέιβιτ Σαμάντι. Doctor, welcome to the National Greek Television. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to have you here. I can say Kalispera. <laughs> Kalispera. Yasu. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. I'm Bravo. starting to learn and brush off on my Greek. Uh, Thank you for having me. Uh, let me start. How many surgeries you have made uh, uh, as a professional doctor? Um, right now, uh, it's been about almost 10 years, and it's we've done. I've done uh, over 2,000 of robotic surgeries. I've also done about 500 laparoscopic prostatectomy which we'll talk about the difference. And then before that, I had done open surgery. So somewhere in the range of almost 3,000 removal of prostate for prostate cancers. Uh, I like to say a few words in Greek, um, but let me say the same words in English to you that uh, because uh, in the month of December, the beginning of December, uh, December 6th, that is uh, St. Nicholas Day for the Greeks, I was traveling to Greece with Swiss Air 
and um, uh, we stopped in Geneva and uh, we took another plane and um, after 10 minutes that I was on the air I had a heart attack <laughs> in the plane and uh, I know what means a doctor a good doctor is uh, like a god for me uh, I had 14 years ago January 96 a triple bypass on um, uh, with Dr. Subramanian. Sure. You know him? Of course. And uh, for me, Dr. Subramanian is my God. Okay? Now, you are a God for Panayoti. And you're going to be a God. You're a good angel for the rest of us, but you're going to be a God if tomorrow we need you. Thank you very much. Because you give life to the people that for many reasons uh, the line of their life becomes short and short and you give life to these people and uh, it, I always admire the doctors. Well I appreciate you sharing your personal story with the, with the audience. Um, you went through uh, the accident that came out of nowhere. You were in the plane, you were doing fine next thing you know you have the chest pain. I think uh, life is very valuable and I think reaching out at the time, the critic time, it makes a huge difference. As you know, the two most common cause of death in this country is heart disease and cancer. And I'm glad that we are having a program about these, uh, these topics, especially Prostate cancer in men, which uh, we know it's a lot more common than we think. Um, I'm very excited to be here and I'm certainly looking forward to talk to my Greek fellows and Greek uh, audience. I have known um, and I've had a lot of patients. The Greek culture is a wonderful culture, is a hospitable and friendly community, and I'm very fortunate to be part of this. More importantly, I'm glad that your heart disease is gone and we're here sharing the stories together thank and again you. thank you very much and I want to thank Peter for inviting me to this show and sharing his personal story to the rest of the community people like Peter um, who are willing to open and openly talk about their stories are going to make a big difference and save many lives and I'm glad that the TV uh, the Greek TV is open that's giving this kind of educational information to our patients. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a great honor. My pleasure to uh, my great honor. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I wanted to uh, first and foremost thank Dimitri Castanas for allowing us to um, have National Greek Television Station here uh, to go with a two-hour live show tonight uh, so I can tell my story about uh, prostate cancer uh, that I was diagnosed with shortly before Thanksgiving. And the purpose of the show tonight I want to uh, make public what had happened to me so that this way maybe I can save lives uh, for people who don't really know what prostate cancer is and for people who don't even know what a prostate is and what the function of a prostate is. And tonight, uh, since we are going live, I have my surgeon um, that actually saved my life, Dr. David Samadhi from uh, Mount Sinai Hospital. Uh, who's an amazing surgeon, not only an amazing surgeon and an amazing doctor, but an amazing human being who understood what my plight was and what I was going through and what fears I was faced with and who put me totally at ease from the first time that I had spoken to him and helped me through this difficult time in my life. So I'm here with the doctor tonight to try to save lives and to try to educate people about prostate cancer and what to look for what are the signs, what are the symptoms, and what are the options that are available to us in this day and age with the advanced technology that we have?